Hi YouTube, today we are going to be uh, animating this box and making it spin, but not actually animating it. David here Yo. and I are going to figure out how to get this to spin and show you that process. Okay, so after about 45 minutes, it is now worth explaining what we did with this spinning box. So, what happened? Well, first off, we drilled a hole in the bottom of the box. We got a ruler because uh, it's worth being a little meticulous for something like that. So we just measured on the bottom to find that as close to center spot as possible. If you are off, it might get a little wobbly and funky and won't look as good, so I recommend getting a ruler. After that, we stuck some skewers into the bottom of the box. And the problem is we didn't want to damage the box too much, and we couldn't really stabilize the box all that well once the skewer was inside the box. We could have obviously cut a big hole in the bottom so then we can put stuff inside the box to really finagle with it, but we sort of let our instincts take over. And what that means is we put some putty, some putty that you can get at Home Depot or Michaels, and that putty secured the bottom of the box where the first part of the skewer inserted, and then we put some putty on the very top of the box on the inside so that once we reached the very end, we had something to adhere to so the, the skewer wasn't moving around, all jangly around all over the place. And then we had the issue of how do I affix the Edelkrone spin head one thing to hold the box and do the spin. I needed something because the skewer was just a pointed end on the bottom. How could I attach to that? So I just used a clip, like just a regular clamp that you typically have in a photo studio and just grabbed that. So it gave me something larger to latch onto and then I just used some gaff tape to put it onto the head one here. After that, it was pretty simple. I hooked up my phone to the Edelkrone Head 1, gave it a couple spins, saved that pose, gave it a cut another couple spins, saved that pose, and just let it go, hit record, and it finally looked like this in camera. Now the next step of this is to key it out. Now you could use key light from after Effects or any keying software that you have in Final Cut. I am partial to the Red Giant suite, so I'm using Primat Keyer, but it's basically the same. Crop it out and key it out, and then after you do that, get the right composition that you want. Sorry, rewind just one second. I forgot to mention a small bit, and that is this skewer sticking out of the bottom of the box. So the way you cut that out or get it out of your frame is you can either use the tools in After Effects. There is a CC wire removal tool, or if you have a little bit extra patience, you can go frame by frame, just add a mask around it, and then just get that precision there. The only difference is the mask version versus the CC wire removal tool. Sometimes the effect, the CC wire removal tool, will be a little funky and will do some weird mirroring effect on the box, so it's not that long of a clip. Doing some masking is not that big of a deal. Don't forget to get the skewer out because then it'll just look weird. Overall, that's how you get a spinning box. You stick a, a, a rod or something through the center of the box, find a way to stabilize it, put on a spinning thing, hit the record button, make sure you green screen it, and then you're basically done. Put it in your motion graphics videos, do whatever you want with it. You have a spinning box, and I like this technique because we could have just taken a flat photo of the box or even just done some photos and cut it out, but I felt this way was gonna be faster rather than having to cut out a bunch of frames, have the green screen footage. So, I hope this video on how to cut out a box and do a spinning effect was useful to you. If it was, let me know in the comment section down below, or if you have questions, hit me up in the comment section. That is it, so my friends, I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight and you'll make some gains. Goodbye, goodbye, bye. bye. bye.